Perry is placed in an impossible situation next week, after his attempts to have Father Carl face justice failed. Perry had finally reported his dad for the years of violence he faced growing up, but despite Perry testifying in court, Carl was found not guilty and walked away a free man. When we pick things up next week, Perry is devastated as Rose brings him back to the surf club, still unaware of the reason why Tane hasn't shown up. Perry is also terrified by the fact that his dad is now free to come after him again, with Rose's assurances that she and her colleagues at Yabby Creek Police will keep an eye out providing little comfort. He goes on to explain his frustration at how his father's lawyer had twisted his words and made him out to be a liar in the courtroom, with Carl's glare causing him to mess up his testimony. Rose is able to organize an alvo against Carl, but Perry remains dubious that it will do any good, if the courts weren't able to stop him, then nothing will. Tane assures Perry that he will be safe, and reminds him that Carl doesn't even know where they live. But sure enough, as they return home, a vengeful Carl watches them. The next day, Carl has managed to get his hands on one of the class timetables from the gym, and as he loiters outside the club he bumps into Alf who is oblivious to his identity. Seeing the timetable, Alf tells him to head inside where Perry will be able to assist, giving Carl just the information he needs. Carl waits inside the club and ambushes a shocked Perry, warning him to not alert anyone or he'll end them. Needless to say, Carl isn't too happy about his son's attempts to stand up to him, stating that whilst the court case was bad enough, the subsequent avo is pathetic. Perry warns Carl that Tane will be back any minute, but Carl knows better, having seen the class schedule. Carl thinks Perry needs a reminder of his loyalties, telling him that he is his father and not Tane, and chillingly tells him that he wouldn't need to lay a finger on Tane to take him down. Accidents happen all the time, Carl points out. People get run over, brake lines can get cut. You just never know. With his threat imparted, Carl whispers into Perry's ear that he will be in touch. Perry later returns home, but cannot bring himself to say anything to Tane in fear of putting him in danger. What has Carl got planned? 